There is no time like the present to begin the search for new knowledge and new understanding of an old problem. And I propose today that we begin at once to lighten that burden. The story of the West is the story of water. Who has it, who needs it, how it gets from here to there. I think it's always difficult with infrastructure because, you know, there's so many people out there that say, what are they talking about? Infra what? A hundred years from now, people will look back at the formation of the modern state of California, and in bold print at the front of any of those chapters will be Edmund G. Pat Brown. Have you ever heard of somebody named Pat Brown? Filmmaker, right? He was an actor. No? Pat Brown was my grandfather. So if you're looking for a traditional objective biography on Governor Edmund G. Pat Brown, this is not it. Every family has their story. We're not going to tip over, Mom. <laughs> this is an adventure. It's of an America, of this stable, optimistic, backyard, vacation, happy family. You see, my grandfather had a love affair. My grandmother knew about it. We all knew about it. He was in love with California. Ask not. I have a dream. What your country can do for you. That unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from... Governor Brown was hammered by a series of events. And those who were for the death penalty were emphatically in favor of it. They were troubled by his indecision, and many people criticized him for it. Should you let one man's life affect all of the other things that you're doing? He arrived on the scene just at the right time where his moderation and friendliness enabled him to accomplish big things for California. We still have the same water infrastructure that we had for 16 million people when Governor Brown was governor today for 37 and a half million people. Without any question, Pat Brown was the last great American political builder. There has been nothing like him since. My grandfather would say, it's time for a new state of mind. And I ask all of you to join me in the most important job any of us have ever undertaken. Thank you very much.